<laughs> Folks, what is going on? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. What happened? What? Jesus Christ. Can you tell why I'm not suited for this? <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, we're back, are we? Folks, I have no idea what happened. I get this little thing in the bottom right hand corner that says uh, OBS has been dis. I think the ethernet came out or something or it failed or it crashed or just said fuck you that wouldn't surprise me either so here's part two i'm gonna have my fucking massive pint again <sighs> well welcome back folks <laughs> oh i'm not cut out for this i'm not cut out for this not cut out for this at all how's the frame rate is it okay is it the the laptop is struggling folks i'll tell you that yeah this is our oh, goods we're good might be okay there i think we're back up to normal Give me an old thumbs up if we're back up to normal, folks. Had a bit of a scare there, PJ. Did you not pay the internet? I know we're only here for one night, but we need internet as well. Okay, I think we're all back up and running. Shots, anyone? Yeah, Susie, shots, shots. PJ, listen. Anyone who has somehow made it back in the door after this complete power outage, free shots. Whatever they want. Give them the expensive stuff as well. Uh, I'll be taking the bottom shelf stuff home with me. They can have all the expensive stuff. Thank you very much, folks. Boy, oh boy. Here we go again indeed, Red Ink. So, welcome back. <laughs> that was the first hour of Adam's Bar. We're now into the second and second pint. Cheers. <sighs> Toy Store Mania? Nah, buddy. Like story, Toy Story though, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, you can hear the laptop fan. This thing is sucking diesel, is what it is. We're all good. We're back up and running. Seems okay. All good in the hoods. Shoo. Georgie is getting bloodborne in a few days. Nicely done. Enjoy it. It's a good game. Okay. Uh. Dead memes, I told you. I'm not doing Toy Story Mania. Free Coca-Cola for Kyle. Yeah. You'll be waddling out of here when we're finished with you, Kyle. <laughs> you love the bar and you're going to miss it. Yeah, but all good things must come to an end. I'll do it again for, um, what's it called? E3 and maybe an end of year special as well. Blue Grim. Wow, that is very generous. Thank you very much. Do you exclusively drink Guinness, and how good is it? I've never tried it, but that shit looks really good. I've always liked dark beer. It is excellent. I would say with... Um, Guinness is the finest... Uh, besides the Irish bar and Irish music, Guinness is the finest export of Ireland. It is fantastic. If you're in around the shop, even the cans of Guinness are really good. So they got this widget inside them, so you get like a decent pour and a decent looking pint out of it. Um, well worth trying. If you're in Ireland, get out of the tap. It's magnificent. If you're in a different country and gone out of the tap, it's not the same thing. It is a dark beer, but it's more like a stout. So it kind of has a smooth flavour. You won't have the hiccups from drinking Guinness, I'll tell you that. But yeah, well worth trying. If you're in a supermarket, pick up an old can, preferably 500 millilitres, and put it into what is called a tulip glass. Because it looks like a tulip, and it should be fantastic cheers ah soaked 23 how you doing buddy 
I just just a donation. <laughs> Cheers, dear. No message, just hey. <laughs> uh, uh what about Sony events? Ah, if they do a PlayStation experience, I'll do a... We'll open up the bar for the PlayStation experience. We absolutely will. You're okay in frame rate. Yeah, fuck it, it's fine. Have you ever been in Northern Ireland? Not yet. I want to go to Belfast next year and then a couple, maybe one other place. Just to, you know, Belfast is the capital. Much like if you go to Dublin and going, well, you're only seeing a part of Ireland. Much like if you go to Belfast, you're only seeing a part of Northern Ireland. So I like to go to Belfast and another place. Do you like fruit beer? I do indeed. I think it's great. Man, I didn't have a Guinness in over 10 years. Time to change. Ah, it's not for everyone. It's an acquired... Ah, it's, it's an acquired taste. Well, if you're Irish, it's just mandatory. <laughs> have I tried the Nigerian Guinness? The... I think it's an extra stout one as well. I have not, but I would like to. I've tried the extra stout one. I haven't tried the... I think there's also a West Indies version. It's kind of really strong, 7%. I'll, I'll be hoping to try some additional tr versions of Guinness. Erwin, hello. I know you love Linkin Park, but what other bands or artists do you like and what genres? I quite like um, Rise Against. I quite like... I like Wax, W-A-X. He's a rapper. He made a song called Music and Liquor, which I think is one of the greatest songs ever made. It's about his life is filled by music and liquor and nothing ever else is important. It's like, hey, pretty pretty sobering assessment of himself and his lifestyle. Yeah, really good stuff. Uh, Pokemaster, how you doing, Adam? Doing well. Okay. Uh, you are lagging a bit, Adam. I know, buddy. I am, aren't I? Well, isn't this just great? Okay, what if I close that? What if I also close that? What if we get down to the bare bones of fucking nothing? How about that? I am lagging seriously, folks. I don't even know what I could do to improve this. Maybe I'm back up to normal now. I think I'm back up to normal. <laughs> as long as the audio comes through fine. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, Real Light Guinness 2. It's also fresh, in my opinion, compared to real dark beer. It's not heavy and easy to drink. Yeah, smooth. Smooth. Do I like gin? I like them all. I like them all. I probably wouldn't drink gin straight. But who doesn't like a gin and tonic? Lambic beers. Never heard of them. Could you imagine PlayStation Home rehoused on PS5 where all meet up in game inside an actual... I like that. Inside an actual bar, they should bring PlayStation Home back. I like that. Inside an actual bar. I like that. I like that. Have I ever been to De Denmark? Not yet. Denmark? No. I haven't been there yet. Nice looking country. Nice looking country. Uh, did I enjoy... For the final Adam's Bar stream, yeah. For the final... Uh, did you enjoy... Sorry, what am, I, what am I even looking at? The laptop's making PS4 noise. It's going to shoot. It's going to rise up and take off into the stratosphere. Maybe if I bring the mic over here, it might help. What was your favourite PS2 game? Beyond Good and Evil, Ratchet and Clank 2. Pauly D! Are you the re... Nah, uh, you probably heard that joke a lot. Pauly D, thank you very much. Love your work, sir. Have a drink on me. Well, indeed, Mr. Pauly D. That's um, a good idea. L ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about Jersey Shore. For a second. Okay. I think the editing in Jersey Shore is fantastic. Okay. Study the music in Jersey Shore. Study how they amplify... Um, a night out. The way they do nights out in Jersey Shore. Look at the interplay of music and wild moments and cutaway voiceovers. It is masterfully done. Just you know, just just putting that out there. Jersey Shore is good editing, and it is a it's a guilty pleasure of mine. I think it's like, you know, 
You're not meant to laugh with them. They are they are ridiculous people, but they're you know as the show goes on, they become to realize we are kind of ridiculous. But uh, unabashedly, Jersey Shore editing is good. Sometimes dishonest, <laughs> like all reality TV shows, but the craft is excellent. Okay, just putting that out there. Putting that out there. Uh, Soaked 23. Again, buddy. Jeez, you, you could. All right, you're very generous. Forgot to include messages last time. So proud to see how far you've come at them. Remember when we had a couple of hundred subs? Can't wait till you hit 100k. Yeah, I remember you from a long time ago. It was. It was like three digit subs, yeah. You've been around for ages, buddy. Thanks for sticking around and dealing with all these, uh, I don't know, the ups and downs, the many things that have happened. It is it's really exciting where the channel is now. It is flying through. What? Sorry, folks, we have someone trying to get into the bar illegally. We need to see some ID. <laughs> uh, any platinums have you given up on nope greens from longford didn't know you were from there pubsy longford's cool longford oh, all of ireland is cool folks Polly d the cabs are here gtl oh yeah is in i i i think Polly d's a decent guy uh i like Vinny as well and mike i believe he was like pretty bad um a, like drug problem i think i don't know in one of the seasons they go to italy he's like hopped up on painkillers the whole season it's kind of ridiculous uh but then he kind of overcomes it and becomes a decent person it's like a redemption story hey adam are you going to do an episode on cuphead nope sean buddy you don't have to you're too kind it's not an adam stream unless there's technical difficulties true 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 <laughs> true. it's the iron power we're just gods <laughs> Uh, if you do other streams, will it be on Twitch or YouTube? It'll be on YouTube. The reason being Twitch deletes streams after two weeks. So this will be up for um, quite a while. And then stuff like... Yeah, so I want people to watch it several weeks later. Or if you're kind of grinding for trophies, you can put this on in the background. Help you out. My pleasure. Thanks for all the entertainment over the years. Got me through some hard times. I'm honoured. That's one of the kindest things people say to me. It's like, hey, when I was going through a rough time, I just binge watch platinum journey and just kind of like melted the hours away i like that if i can make the outside world disappear for a while and go on an adventure together i'm extremely honored to be able to do that blue grim thank you very much buddy i do have a lot of irish blood run through my veins other than loving to drink and fight i've never been to ireland but i'm sure it's an amazing place <laughs> are you saying i i'm breaking the irish stereotype i've never been in the fight I use my words. Silver-tongued devil. Uh, yeah, definitely if you can come to Ireland. Dublin's great fun. Took me a while to get to know Dublin. But it is unabashedly a great city. If it's so friendly. Uh, you can't not have a good time. Because I met my Spanish friends in Dublin. And I got to see Dublin through their eyes as a tourist. And it's like... Irish people are just the best. They're so helpful. Even me, I was trying to find a bus. And the guy walked me to the bus station. And said, here's the bus for exactly where you're going. And it'll be here in five minutes. It's like, oh my goodness. I don't think he realizes I'm also Irish. Or maybe he's just that goddamn friendly. But yeah, definitely come to Ireland. Amazing place. Uh, hang on a second. I missed something there. Diego. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the 7 FPS to make this an official Adam stream. Yeah, we're, we're not great, are we? If I can remain above, like, 20, you know? Ah! I know, I made the mistake. That's on me, folks. I got the stream at 30 frames per second. But that camera is a 25 frames per second. Ah! It's 25 frames because it's the European region. So that's a problem. So what it does is every fifth frame it duplicates, which puts processing power. Okay, that's on me. That's on me. <laughs> oh. Where would you recommend visiting in Southern Ireland? Galway. Go straight to Galway. Can't not have a good night out there. Do you like heavy rain and life is strange? Heavy rain, yes. Life is strange, not so much. Greetings from the land of stolen bikes and empty vodka bottles that I know is Kildare. 
Oh, yes. Alpha Devil, I'm well, by the way. Okay. Uh, how do people do daily streams? I have no fucking idea. I have no idea. I've always put on a platinum journey when I grind for trophies. It's a great time, honestly. Yeah, I'm honored to help you pass the time. Working on Ori 2. Play some time. You released the video. It was helpful. Yeah. <laughs> Ori 2 is a great game. Enjoy yourself. Will you do a bonus video of the Horizon Zero Dawn DLC? Nope. Because by the time I get around to it, Horizon Forbidden West will be coming out. So I think I'll stick with that. Have my Budweiser ready. Cheers. <laughs> Whatever you want. Worst alcoholic beverage is completely subjective. Whatever you don't like is the worst alcoholic beverage. Whatever you do like is the best alcoholic beverage. Also, whatever you're accustomed to. If you've been drinking a certain type of alcohol for most of your life, that's the one you kind of like. Yeah, I, I, I've drink an awful lot of the cheap stuff from Aldi and Lidl. Occasional cans of Guinness. That's what I'm used to, so that's what I like. But uh, yeah, I don't discriminate. I don't think there's anything that's... The worst alcoholic beverage is the one that gives you poisoning. Apart from that, they're all good. In some way. But I wouldn't be doing shots of Pacini or Moonshine, though. Well, you know, responsibly done so. <laughs> Do you play Assassin's Creed? A little bit. Yeah, pal camera, exactly. I'm actually going for the Platinum and God of War PS4, and all I have left is the Nilfelheim quest and the Valkyrie Queen. That Valkyrie Queen. I'm going to try and beat her on Give Me God of War mode in a while. That's going to be fucking tough. Please talk more about Ireland. I've gone for days, but I'd, I'd be here for ages. I, you know. Adam, loving your Platinum Journey videos. Liquid Snake. Cheers, buddy. How are you, buddy? I'm well. Are you playing RE8? Nope. Okay, bye, dude. Bye, Duffy. <laughs> I'm about to Platinum The Witcher 3, and it's taken me six years, so if I ever try to Platinum and get ready. Daniel, The Witcher 3 is one of those dream episodes. So much, in fact, that I've started learning how to... Okay. The Witcher 3, I think I could make into some sort of, like, feature-length episode, an hour and a half, where it would be the exploration and the adventure through that world. Do you know the map of The Witcher 3? Do you ever watch travel documentaries done by top-tier folks or... I don't know, just in general. And they have a map of the world... And you can fly through the map. And like you zoom in on a point. And then you zoom over to another point. Like we're going from here to here. And things happen along the way. I've been learning to do that. I'm going to try and implement it in the GTA Vice City video. On a small scale. I'm also doing. What was it? Uncharted The Lost Legacy later on there. So I might on a bigger scale. But I would love to do something like that for The Witcher 3. And kind of like make it a big adventure. Um, Yeah. Like an hour and a half. Get into the nitty and gritty of The Witcher 3. That 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 I could that I could sink my teeth into. Best look with the platinum. Grinding the chalice dungeons to get the final trophy in Bloodborne whilst watching this. Wish me luck, Adam. Good luck. They're tough. They're tough. Hola, amiga. Greetings from Mexico. Hola. Me gusta. <laughs> Still offering shots. Absolutely, Susie. Round them up. Uh, Soak23, you're very generous, but you can just talk normally. You don't have to keep donating, but it's very much appreciated. How much do I need to donate tonight for a Skate 3 Platinum Journey? Oh, there's not enough money in the world, I'm afraid. Uh, skate 3, hang on, let me check up the trophy guide. Skate 3 trophy guide. I think it's pretty intense, isn't it? Skate 3 trophy guide and road map. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, an awful lot of online trophies. They'd be offline. Probably not, buddy. I'm not big, um, a big, uh, what's it called? A big fan of skateboarding. I like it. I like the culture of skateboarding. But I don't think I'll be doing a skate three. I have a 90% on Assassin's Creed Black Flag, but I'm missing the painful online. Any type of trophies you hate. Yeah, all that online stuff, grinding stuff, hate them. They add nothing. And especially thinking of the video production side, knowing that, well, it's it's going to be 
one line of vo one line one line of voiceover in the final video, and then I grind in fifty hours doing mundane shit. And that was that. Like all the collectibles in the God of War episodes, the God of War 2018 episode, all the collectibles took me eight hours. But in the final video, it's it's th it's it's two sentences, and then I got the collectibles. Bing bang bosh, and it's just trophy pop, trophy pop. Tro it's not interesting. So all that grindy stuff, hate it. It's unnecessary fluff. I would like it to be taken out. <laughs> Favorite Bloodborne boss, Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower. The intimate one v one fighting. I love that. That was really cool to me. I liked it. Also, I beat on my first try. Did not expect that. You know, not too shabby. Ah. Right, the cans of Excelsior are out. Cheers, everyone. Sean, I unabashedly and unironically fucking love cans of Excelsior. But it's not Excelsior. It's Excelsior. You gotta say it like Stan Lee, okay? I see the blue cans, those shitty 75 cent blue cans, 12 for 880 in Lidl, and I just think it's Stan Lee and I get all happy. They're 4%, they're quite light. Well, it's 4, 4.3. What's really the difference? But yeah, those those are great. I, I, yeah, it's a 12 pack. We chucked it in. It's good for a couple of nights anyway. April Fool's Idea, Telltale Game Platinum Journey. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. Even the effort for a, a joke episode is too much for me. <laughs> Kyle, we are definitely getting Susie a shot. Don't worry about it. Witcher 3 for episode 50. Ooh, what episode am I up to now? Um, I think the Witcher 3 would be something I have to do kind of interspersed over a long period of time. Because I think it's about 120 hour platinum or something. So it would be kind of like, oh, do a bit here in this month, do a bit that month, do a bit that month. And then, of course, the process make It would be kind of like a year-long endeavor. Maybe at some point. They are doing a PS5 kind of upgrading, upscaling... Maybe then might be a, a nice idea to try it out. Almost at 100 Platinums, your videos helped me a lot. Pretty happy. Uh, Stefan... Stefanovic. Won't you... Why won't you play Ori 3 this year? Why do you need to wait a full year? Ah, because I've made it a yearly tradition. I don't want to clog the year up with... Say I'm going to do Resident Evil 2, 3, 4 and 5 in one year. I like the idea of just take like, every year, around the beginning of the year, we do a Resident Evil game. I like that yearly tradition. Much like, hey, in around August, September, for the last two years, I've done a Pokemon game. And in September this year, I'll do a Pokemon game. Next September, I'll do a Pokemon game. I like the tradition of it. Something you can kind of like rely upon. I like that. I'm a stickler to traditions. Lander, I did the MP grind for Tomb Raider and I don't want to do it again. Yeah, do not blame you. Do not blame you. Titanfall 2 has only three multiplayer trophies. I believe they're kind of okay. Rain Man, Kunasata 2, Tame Goma. Ah! <laughs> Rudimentary uh, Irish that we're all taught in school. Stanley always makes me happy, he does. I see Excelsior written on the can. I see Stanley. So, I always get it. Well, not always. I mean, a little about once a month. <laughs> yeah, the um You think I'm the Stanley of video game creators as a huge compliment and the shoes I'm not worthy to fill. I believe the remake, uh Stefan I'm sorry about your pronunciation. Stefanovic, I believe the remake will have definitely a platinum trophy. I might do a platinum journey bonus episode for Resident Evil 4. Uh yeah, Sean, a couple of nights for the 12 pack. <laughs> uh Aldi and Little do do, do 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 some cracking beers. I even their wine, the four euro bottles of wine, psh, decent. Uh, what do you, yeah, what do you like dislike about making YouTube videos? I like it all. It's all pretty good. Even the feedback is actually fantastic. How many times do you get to make something at your job and then have thousands of people say, "Hey, good job," it's it's really nice. My name is Mayo. <laughs> no. <laughs> Aldi, Lidl, Lidl, or Tesco? Aldi. 
Um, Soak23, buddy, you, you're very generous. You can just... You don't have to keep donating, but it's very, very kind of you. You never been to up to Banker? Sorry, you ever been up to Banker or Belfast, Northern Ireland, Adam? That's where my family is from. I don't actually know about Banker. I know about Belfast. Everyone knows about Belfast. I haven't. I've never been across the border, which is unfortunate. I'm hoping for not next year, but the year after that. I would like to spend some time in Northern Ireland, start in Belfast, spend a couple of nights there, get to know it, and then maybe a couple other places as well uh my, my only experience with northern irish people is nothing but great it's because you know obviously there's the history of northern ireland and the republic of ireland but my generation don't give a flying fuck about that like with the troubles of what like the 70s and the 80s we don't care we weren't around my experience with, uh, with northern ireland people is they're great they've got a wonderful accent makes me melt in my chair so yeah really looking forward to hopefully getting up to Northern Ireland and seeing it properly like living there for well live spend a few nights there anyway hear that just just walk down the streets and hear the accents be like this is cool oh sorry folks not keeping up favourite online game Resistance Fall of Man I was actually decent at it I had a positive kill to death ratio I was a champ Okay, sorry there. Swift Gamer, hello. If you could make a Platinum Journey for any PS2 game or PS1 game, what would it be? Beyond Good and Evil. No Platinum Trophy though. Might do a bonus episode. I love that game so much. The worlds, the characters, the conspiracy, the art style, the music. It's fantastic. Do you plan on playing the Souls games? No. Well, sorry, Sekiro, what Souls-like game? As for regular Souls games, probably not. I don't plan it. The aesthetic doesn't appeal to me. Um, and the shields kind of combat doesn't appeal to me either. I like the more attacking focus of Bloodborne and I think Sekiro was kind of like you parry. This is very late, but I'd like to thank you for your Arkham Asylum episode. It's how I found your channel. I didn't see when it was released, but it encouraged me to keep going for the plot. Thanks. You are more than welcome. Arkham Asylum is one of uh that's that's a tough fucking trophy. I'm so sickened the series went in open world direction. I was thinking what they had with Arkham Asylum was really special. I would like to see an additional game like that. But uh still adore that game. What do I recommend watching on Netflix? Avatar and the Legend of Korra. Also if you're uh if you're itching yeah, Avatar Legend of Korra Arrested Development, especially the first three seasons. Loads of great stuff, buddy. Daredevil and Breaking Bad. Yep. There you go. Other stuff that. Good morning, LD. Good morning. What Planet Journey episode are you looking forward to making? Them all. Uh, I'm doing... If I say now, next month is Shadow of the Colossus, which I've never played. Well, I never played the remake. I played a little bit of the PS2 version. Oh, by the way, folks. I know it might seem like when you say stuff and there's a huge delay. There is. There's a six second delay on my end from the this thing in order to help it not be too uh, janky. And it stutters occasionally, but we'll keep it going. So yeah, looking forward to Shadow of the Colossus next month. That world, the art style, the magnificence of the Colossi. Looking forward to that. Adam, can you say hi to PJ for me? Alpha Devil says hi, PJ. Alpha uh, Devil, he says hi back. You're feeling pretty comfortable, aren't you? You're in your element. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Uh, where are we? Sorry, folks. I gotta skip down here. I have not played the new Resident Evil game. I have not. I've played Hitman Blood Money. I haven't played the new ones. I just live by the motto: if it ain't Dutch, you paid too much. Unless I came across Galahad and Excelsior. Yeah, for those who don't know, Dutch gold in Ireland is a euro a can. And you think, geez, you know that that will do. An awful lot of kind of younger folks get onto it because it's cheap. Uh, but then you find out about Galahad and Aldi and Excelsior in Lidl. You go, well, this is way better. And, you know, you get used to the taste as well. Swift Gamer, next Platinum Journey video is GTA Vice City coming out on YouTube early next month. Will I play... Hang on, sorry there. Will I play Marvel Spider-Man? It's an easy Platinum. I did. There's already an episode up about it. 
I'll also do Miles Morales later on in the year. Is The Last of Us your favourite game of all time? It's up there with Pokemon Red, Half-Life 2. Dead Space. Yeah, they're all up there. The Duck Boy. <laughs> Fun name. Hey, I'm really new to your channel and I feel really welcome to your community and I love the way you say the old hunters. Besides from Pokemon, are you into other Nintendo games currently playing through Super Mario Odyssey while watching? I really like the world of Zelda. I've tried to play Ocarina of Time on a kind of an, I don't know, like an emulator years ago, but it didn't really work out. Zelda looks interesting. Zelda looks interesting. How's GTA Vice City treating me? My rose-tinted glasses have been well and truly smashed. It's, I'm into the grindy stage and it's getting on my... Yeah, it's getting on my arse. Have I almost caught up? Have I almost caught up? Resistance needs a remake? It does need. Okay, I'm going to fire through these. I own Shadow of the Class on PS2, PS3, PS4, but haven't played it all. You should. Uh, I wish Arkham City would have been inside the huge prison where there are huge riots and Batman has to break out and get all the... Do -do 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 -do. I agree. Hello, my good sir. I'm a huge... What are you doing, YouTube? I'm a big fan of Platinum Hunting. What's the most playthroughs you've done of a game? Mine is 8 for Dishonored 2. I would say about 8 for The Last of Us. I'd say about the same. Shadow of the Colossus, it's a great game. The Platinum is decent, a little bit of a grind, but still fun. I'm looking forward to it. Hey Adam, just wanted to say that you create a great atmosphere in all your videos. They are super professional. I studied video editing amongst other things at uni, and I can't imagine your pain. That is a huge comf compliment, Xander. Thank you very much. Yeah, the atmosphere, I want, I, want to f I want you to feel what I feel. I want to take you to that place, and I want it to be... Yeah, I want, I want to go on an adventure with you. Um... I have gotten, like, the editing of the videos does get compliments. One of the, the finest compliments I got was by a guy who was working as an assistant editor on a TV show. And he said, hey, your videos are pretty good. I said, oh, really? He said, yeah, like, the editing is professional. And I was like, oh. Meanwhile, I make my living as a professional editor, but not in the, in the TV profession. It's kind of, you know, like side jobs of you kind of go, I can give it the professional touch of no one's no one's going to call it bad but i don't think anyone's going to call the video good no one's going to go like oh that was an excellent video but it's it's the corporate stuff that don't stick simple don't deviate don't get too high don't get too low just nice and simple and digestible which does have its place but when i get to create something like platinum journeys should throw out the rule book do whatever the fuck you want so yeah, thanks. Yes, Aaron Duca, I am indeed going for an MGS4 at some point. Some point. I need to play Breath of the Wild. I saw Breath of the Wild. And I just thought, ah, oh, I could make a great video out of that. I'm hoping that in the next couple of years I can... Like, I do Pokemon once a year. Like, there are six 3D Zelda games. It's like, oh, that's, and the great thing about a Zelda game is much like... A Platinum Journey. Zelda has the same goal. It's defeat the big bad guy Ganon. That, that's the goal. Defeat him. So you start here and you defeat him. Much like in Platinum. For a Platinum Trophy. You start here. You get the Platinum Trophy. It's the same weaving in now and how you get there. It's like hey. I'm Zelda. Sorry. I'm Link. Oh I almost. I did it. I'm Link. And then you defeat Ganon. And that's your thing. So uh, I would like to do Zelda at some point. They're not that long. I think like 25 hours to get through the game. Wouldn't do any of the extras. Just stick to Zelda. Stick to the main story. I would like that. Hi says Sebas... Sebas Beek? Hi. Butchered the pronunciation. Butchered it. <laughs> do you think you'd ever do a VR Platinum Journey? Nah. Nah. What is a gameplay focused game you could turn on and play without having to relearn the controls? Gameplay focused. Gameplay focused. Does Pokemon count? Metal Gear Solid 2? Not ah, a story focused. I don't know. Couldn't tell you, buddy. It's a good question. Please do a Death Stranding Platinum Journey. It's got online, buddy. I don't like online. I am interested in playing it though. That looks like surreal game. Excellent soundtrack. I listened to it. 
Matthew, your videos are definitely one of a kind. Never seen anything quite like them. Thank you. That's a huge compliment. Adam O'D. <laughs> Fellow Adam. Has your opinion on The Last of Us 2 changed? So I didn't like the second half. I, I thought it went down too long. But I am more... I'm in more of an admiration that they even tried it. Because an awful times the conversation around video games is, hey, it's a different medium to film. You should try stuff. You should push the boundaries. And then when something does, you can critique it. Like, of, of The Last of Us Part 2, I won't go into spoilers. Of the Last of Us Part 2 having a, I'll speak in code, so folks who have played it don't know it. Snooze God, hi. Uh, folks who have played it know what I'm talking about. Folks who haven't played it, you're fine. The builds and then the relaxation and the builds again. That kind of took the wind out of my sails. That I want to get back to the build moments. But they tried something. They went gun ho with a crazy idea for a hundred plus million dollar game. And I am I admire them more and more for that. It's not easy. It's not easy. Imagine the pitch to Sony. Hey, we're going to do this, 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 and this. And and the executive of Sony going like, are you out of your fucking mind? That's what we want to do. Off you go. Spend five years at it. So I just... Yeah, I, I, I'm i definitely softer. I'm more... How do I put it? I'm more interested or more... I am allowing the option of potentially doing a bonus episode for Grounded. Before, like last year, I was like, I'm not doing it. It's probably, you know, pandemic and all that sort of stuff. Kind of a doom and gloom game. But now that we're coming out, it was like, hey, the gameplay was pretty decent. Maybe on PS5, I can skip the cutscenes without going into a loading screen. Hey, you know, I'm more open to it. Death Stranding is not an online game. It's not, but it has online trophies, I believe. Pretty sure it does. Adam, you should try Yakuza 0 just as a one-time episode or play it off-camera. I'm really interested in trying Yakuza. Or Yakuza. Yakuza. But, um, yeah, I don't know if we'll get a full episode. Soaked. Buddy, you're too generous. <laughs> Which is your favorite Platinum Journey episode and why is it Dead Space 2? <laughs> Dead Space 2 was made under duress. That was, that was, that was a tough one. Favorite episode? I really like the old Hunter's bonus episodes. I really like that one. The 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 little segments of clips throughout the world and the music and the those those three segments of introducing those three different areas. The Hunter's Hunter's Nightmare, Hunter's Hunter's Nightmare research hall and then the fishing hamlet. Like Hunter's Nightmare a character does the voiceover for the sequence and then the Shit, what's it called? The Research Hall. I do something like that. And we have other people. And then the final one is me talking about why games are great. I really like that episode. And it has a big kind of climactic finish as well. Other favourite episodes? MGS2. Really like that episode. Didn't think it was possible. Dead Space 2. Still have a soft spot for that one. That was that was a fun episode. I look back at it now and go, I was out of my fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, checkmate epilepsy I reckon the last was too was too easy also the last one's team so much more so much more epic and hard depends on the difficulty I'd say the last was part two on survivor is pretty tough I played on easy so I can't really talk about it will Elden Ring ever release at some point uh, bread born they certainly took a gamble on the structure of the game last was part two I agree that the pacing was all over the pace yeah as in, even in the final video that I made of it, it was a, like, you notice that a certain percentage, I won't, I won't, yeah, I thought the structure, the pacing wasn't quite there, but, um, really happy they tried it. Hey, Gibby plays games, hello. Thoughts on the Naughty Dog, re oh yes, folks, we should get into this. Thoughts on, thoughts on Naughty Dog making a remake for The Last of Us, shall we get into this, folks? We shall get into this. Alright. It is announced that Naughty Dog are doing a remake of The Last of Us Part 1 for PS5. 
Now, when you hear this, I, like most people, kind of go, but why? You can play The Last of Us Remastered, which came out on PS4, on your PS5. You don't need the remake. But when it comes to... It became much more palatable for me once I realized that Naughty Dog are still in pre-production. So if you ever watch the documentary series called Double Fine Adventure, it documents the studio Double Fine in their production of Broken Age over several years and how you manage the studio and keep it going. One thing to do is, well, if you got a bunch of pre-production people, you have them on pre-production. If you got a bunch of programmers, you have them on the, the build the game. But once, and of course we have the Q&A testers who come in towards the ends. But once you have people, you might have people sitting there with no work to do that you're paying. So if Naughty Dog are still in pre-production, they haven't picked what game they're doing next, which I thought was a bit strange considering it's been a year since The Last was Part 2 and they haven't decided what game they're doing next. I do know they got a bunch of staff on factions and I do know they've got a, um, what's it called? Now they're doing the remake. So I imagine they're trying to like, hey, listen, we're still in pre-production with concept artists and sketch artists and some line, uh, some early pre-alpha level designers and just fooling around with stuff. We're not ready to bring on the whole team to work. So we've got 200 people doing potentially nothing for the next few months. Well, then let's put them on the remake, get them up to speed on the PS5, which is exactly why they said they were going to do the remaster in the first place of the last of us from ps3 to ps4 is to get acquainted with the ps4 system architecture they should be up to speed because system architecture between ps4 and ps5 is quite common but i understand the decision of we've got several hundred people with nothing to do for maybe another few months and we got this hbo tv series coming out i bet the witcher folks wish they had you know remastered or redone their game or did something or because they sold an awful lot of copies after The Witcher came to Netflix. And HBO are going to be week to week. It's not going to be a Netflix type drop. It's not going to be like... The Witcher TV series was everyone, what was everyone talking about for maybe a week or two. But The Last of Us TV show is going to be probably four, maybe six episodes. That's a month. A month and a half. of people talking about The Last of Us. It'd be really good financial sense. Just have a brand new remake that they can buy on their PS5 of the game so that's you know that's my opinion on thing i think it makes complete sense knowing that they're still in pre-production and have not decided what game they're doing next it makes sense to have all your programmers and uh general production staff working on something anyway that those are my two cents about the last of us remake initially dismayed and scratching my head but i think it makes a bit more sense hope i explain myself well Okay. Oh, we got Platinum, bro. Hang on a second. Let me scroll back up, buddy. Hey! Little Ace of the Party. Hey, Adam and everyone. Hey, buddy. Folks who may know uh, Lewis, Platinum Bro 7, excellent channel, does more frequent uploads than me, covering all things PlayStation and trophies. Definitely check him out. I don't know if you can just click his name or just type in Platinum Bro 7. Why the 7? I never asked that. But uh, yeah, great channel, really good guy. I was on their podcast, myself and uh, Lucy from LudiXP were on the podcast. Really good guys. Himself and Guy Furieski, Joel his name is. Great, a great bunch of lads. Okay, what time are we? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We got, we'll be wrapping this up in the next 15 minutes, folks. I'm running out of booze. It's Lowry. Will I do Days Gone? No. Not interested in the world zombie hordes or biker stuff. To each throne though. That one fuck. <laughs> Adam. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, Paul. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Adam. Is there are, sorry? Is there any games you're currently playing for yourself right now? Horizon Zero Dawn, New Game Plus. I've turned off the HUDs and I don't use waypoints. So I just check the map. And see where I'm meant to be going. And then I just sort of run over there and get stuff. I I've, I don't even sprint. I jog. I want to feel... It's such a beautiful world. I find myself stopping and panning the camera around. Going like, isn't this just gorgeous? Yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn. Also, what are your thoughts about RE Village? 
looking forward to it. It's um, it's kind of, I'm happy Resident Evil is still going to be able to reinvent itself. And I see everyone loves the tall lady, so that seems to be nice. <laughs> Isn't it funny how um oh what was it? Ah yes, about a decade ago, women were fascinated by Twilight and their vampires, and now a decade later, men are fascinated by Resident Evil and its vampire. Time is a flat circle, folks. Hora hora! Hey, hey buddy. Uh, Clive Iss, has Naughty Dog been in contact following your Uncharted script? Your vids are great, keep it up. If they make an Uncharted based on my script, I demand a special thanks in the credits. I don't need any more than that. Also, I toured the studio. And an interview with... Ah, you're fine. Oh, I, I want to interview with the grunts. The grunts of the team. The folks who were, like, just in the trenches. I want to ask them specifically, hey, you spent five years on Last of Us Part 2 looking up pretty gory images how was that <laughs> how scared are you for life uh planet Rubber was not expecting such a warm reception ha <laughs> uh, adam thanks the seven totally random bro to each throne soaked 23 my god the generosity is absurd thank you very much last chat for me yeah you're cut off pj no more no more from him uh, I wanted to say thanks for the content. Discovered your channel at a tough point in my life. Really helped me through. Big love. K XOXO, which I believe is kisses and hugs. You too, buddy. Soak's been around since I had 100 subscribers. 100? It was nothing. Adam, will you do a David Cage game? Maybe Detroit Become Human? Maybe. Maybe. But it, it doesn't really work as a structure because the game is choosing your own adventure style stuff. So it doesn't really work. There's enough time of like thinking and seeing how... I don't know. It's, it'd be a really difficult game to do. I do like that as a challenge. To make it interesting without just reciting the story. Let's see. I'm open to it. Troy Pion Human looks good. Um, Tuckman. Hey. Hey. I know, Lewis. That one fuck. I know it's you. I can see your profile picture with your glorious hair. <laughs> John getting slapped by legal. That is a name. My goodness. First up though, Jose. Jose. Hey Adam, your next platinum journey, MGS 4 or 5. I have 90% progress in MGS trophies. I won't be doing MGS 5. I will do MGS 4 at some point. John getting slapped by legal. John, I would love to know what happened by you getting slapped by legal. When this pandemic is over, I'll be getting that Adam's Bar tattoo. Maybe I'll do it as an Adam's Bar tattoo journey. I will send you the font. <laughs> uh, horror, horror. Been busy with work, but playing through Devil May Cry 3 again when I can. One of my favorite games. Fantastic. I really like Devil May Cry 3. The cutscenes are fucking crazy. Dante is, might, might be one of the coolest people in all of video games. CD Court, CDC Pros, gotta leave Adam. I gonna miss the bar. Enjoy the little time we had with it. Looking forward to your next platinum journey. See you later, mate. Have a drink on me. Cheers, buddy. Run low, folks. We're calling the quits next 10 minutes. Okay. I had was your game of the year. Oh, what was your game of the year last year? I only played two games from last year. The last part two and Ghost of Tsushima. It's a toss up. I think, I think both games would have been better if they were. Ah, but maybe my time with Ghost of Tsushima is different because I was going for the platinum trophy from scratch. Maybe I would have liked it more if I didn't. If I played it first normally and then didn't do any of the grindy trophy stuff, but they weren't even that bad. I think I like them both equally for different reasons, so I can't pick. My answer is I don't have one. <laughs> Any Platinum Journeys you regret going through? GTA Vice City at the moment. Oh, fucking hell, that grinds. But I'll get through it. Oh yeah, Adam, when we're getting that tattoo. But by the time I'm like in my 50s, I've already battered and broken with tattoos left, right and centre. If I'm honest, that's just the way it goes sometimes. You need 40 emblems included. Big Boss Emblem MGS4. You do need Platinum Bro 7. Buddy, you don't. It's your grand buddy, but thank you. Since it's the closure of Adam's bar, make sure to go to another bar and get a pint on me. 
<laughs> Cheers. <laughs> uh, so I will be closing. Like this is a weekly live stream I was doing over on Twitch. Didn't work out. Myriad of reasons. But I will open up this bar for special occasions like uh, E3 or the end of the year. And if Sony do a like another PSX, I think it'd be kind of cool, like a kind of a, a post event recap and just thoughts about. Uh, Adam's bar is open for business for about 10 more minutes. Oh boy. John getting slapped by legal. I will gladly take the font, my friend. If you have any other ideas to add to the tattoo, I'll add them as well, my friend. John, I am. I did not realize you were serious. I'm not giving... Mm. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, John, if you're deadly serious, uh, message me on Twitter and I'll tell you the, the font over Twitter. <laughs> you can do it publicly. You can just, you know, at Adam, Mac Adam McIrish, ask him about the font. I'll tell you what it is. And, hey, maybe a playthrough with your choice and then the Platinum Journey Dave Cage games. Ooh, nice idea. Uh, Gibby Plays Games. Thank you very much. Will you ever consider doing the Infamous series? It, it, they are on the list. I'm a huge fan of the original two games. And, of course, the DLC is really good. Um, They are stuck on the P I think they're on PS now. I would like to do them at some point. Like they're on, they've been on the list a long time. But it's just trying to fit them in. Where they'd be good. Maybe next year or the year after. There's no new Infamous game coming. So I don't think there's a rush of doing an Infamous game. But they are certainly on the list. Will you be doing a Final Fantasy Platinum Journey? Probably not. I would love to do Final Fantasy X. But such a huge commitment. Uh, Final Fantasy XII. Final Fantasy XV. The new Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy VII, they're all great, but they're such a huge time commitment, it may not be possible. Okay. Krishna Rat Todds. I hope it ends Krishna. The Krishna. It's not, it's fun language. Krishna. How old are you? I swear you look, you're 20-ish, but you sound like you're 30. Oh, good guess. I'm exactly 30. Good guess. Ten minutes left this amazing bar. I will seriously miss it. It gives me something to look forward to on the lonesome Sunday nights. Ah, don't worry, buddy. You'll have plenty of stuff to do on Sundays. We love Lewis. We do indeed. We do indeed. Can you recommend ways of getting better at video editing? Your editing is awesome and I'm jealous. Legend of Cal Kai. Yes. I'd love to talk about this. To get better at anything that you're interested in, Learn from others. Um, take inspiration from them. Find something that you like and under try to understand what they're doing that you like about it. For example, when I want to get better at video editing, I, especially for video game reviews, I watched GameTrailers.com's reviews because I thought they were the best. And then I re-engineered it. I was like, what are they doing that I like? And then when you watch other stuff, like I was a big fan of the Top Gear specials, like what are they doing with those that I like? How do they bring in the music? How do they do the narration? Is it short narration? Is it long narration? Are they doing context? Doing it for a joke? It's all these different things. So yeah, whatever you like video editing, watch your favorite movies, watch your favorite TV shows, and then pause it and say, what are they doing now? Pay attention to, in particular, music, because that drives mood. Um... And how do they cut? What do they do with... Do they hold on a character's facial expression for long, for an effect? Do they um, have a character speaking off screen before you show them? That's called a, I believe, a J cut. Um, but yeah, just start, watch your favourite stuff and ask yourself, what are they doing? And then Google is your friends. Um, people, directors, video editors are more than happy to talk about their process. So yeah, that's my advice to you. Paul O'Shea. Ah, oh, thank you very much, buddy. Had to out donate the other guy. <laughs> Love the channel more than my mother. Have a good one. <laughs> Cheers, Paul. <laughs> hora, hora. Final Fantasy X grind the end is fucking insane. 100 plus on post game. Fuck that. Fuck that. Okay. Uh, any music in the bar? There was. There was, buddy. There was. <laughs> so I refuse to be bards. Never know my limits. Keep an eye on him, PJ. Keep an eye on him. All right, here. What we'll do is, as we round this out, we play a bit of music before we, we we hit we hit the um we hit the old we hit the old. Mary, you're good for another couple of tunes. 
You're not too drunk. Count backwards. Do the alphabet backwards. I c couldn't do that sober either. Eh? So, hang on. You up for a couple of tunes? Okay, grand. We'll do a couple of tunes. We'll do a couple of tunes on the farewell to Adam's Bar. Uh, we'll end in nine minutes, folks, on the hour. So we'll bring up the sounds. I mean, uh, Mary is warming up her instruments, as are the other girls. <laughs> uh, okay, do we... Oh, no, hang on. Oops, I've made a mistake. Close that. And... Bingo. Do we have... Okay, hang on. All good? Alright, we got a bit of music. Hang on. Do I have this? Yeah, we're good, folks. We're good, we're good, we're good. Now! Now we have some music. Now we have some music. Okay. Sorry, folks, I missed some folks there while I was, uh... While I was, uh, getting married to do a bit of music. <laughs> Uh, Cliff is any book suggestions? Oh, what a f what a fantastic questions! I have fucking loads of them. Aha! <laughs> fucking loads of them. Another like twenty or thirty there as well. Major book recommendation: Jack Kerouac on the road. Uh, it will change your change your outlook on life. It's goddamn good adventure. Anthony Bourdain's A Cook's Tour. Damn good stuff, good read. The classic, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Um, I sometimes read books for different, like... If you read Hunter S. Thompson for an hour, and then you try to write, you can not be crazy in the writing style. So it's it's nice to read stuff. I got a um, Bottled Goods, this is a Romanian book. I was going to move to Bucharest and then off into Transylvania for three months last year before this whole thing happened. So I bought Romanian literature to kind of get accustomed to stuff. Um, I've got some Ernest Hemingway over there. I've got some Charles Bukowski. Fucking loads of stuff. Ah, a movable feast, Ernest Hemingway, 1920s Paris, absolutely glorious. Contact by Carl Sagan, another absolute classic. To Kill a Mockingbird, classic. Just go to any bookstore and forget all the new releases. Go straight to classics. Everything on the shelf is a banger. Treasure Island. I could go on. I could go on. Alright. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, Lewis, last car at the bar, last call at the bar, folks. You don't have to go home, but you may not be able to stay here. We got six minutes. We're stopping on the hour. Okay. Hope any everyone enjoyed uh, my uh, my my rampage through my books. That's not even half them. When I uh, when I left in 2019, so when you do the luggage, the baggage. How many things you can have on you can have, have a certain weight, like 23 kilos. Uh, as I'm going through Europe, you know, getting buses, you're just throwing the luggage underneath. On the way back, I had, I don't know, I had to, I, all these nice and cheap and fun books I was getting, all the classics. On the way back, they all end up costing me like 40 euros to bring back because my luggage was four kilos overweight. So then I'm at the airport and I'm looking through books, but can I, maybe I throw this one out. Or I throw this one out. Or I throw that one out. Like, no, you can't! How could I throw any of these out? So I, I kept them all and I paid the excess charge. Couldn't, could not bring them back. Uh, I have not yet finished the Platinum for GTA Vice City. Man, the music is making me sad to see this all go. We'll be back for special occasions. E3 and end of the year. We'll be back. Um, of Mice and Men is great, but it's a little bit controversial these days. Interesting. I'm gonna have to look that up. There's so many classics. Oh, they got Lord of the Flies as well. 
Um, soaked. I thought you were barred from donating. <laughs> Will series like Thinking Out Loud and Smash Cut ever return? Love Plant Journey, but miss some of the classics. Thinking Out Loud has kind of morphed into thoughts about where I could be specific about a game, sort of like an industry thing. And Smash Cuts, I is now part of Platinum Journey. Those the the like for an example, the ending montage of my Last Was Part Two video is Smash Cuts. It is about I, that you could take that la those three minutes and extract it as its own Smash Cut episode. So the stuff I was doing with Smash Cut, which by the way, folks, was kind of like custom trailers for games, they are now part of part of um, like Platinum Journey. All those techniques, all those like little um, sequences to, from moving one to the other, that's now all part of um, Platinum Journey. You build upon it. But yeah, I, I was I was very close to taking out that last those last three minutes of the Last Was Part Two episode and making that its own like Last Was Part Two. Or just the last of us smash cut. But I uh it lives on in spirit, buddy. Um alright folks. We are three minutes out. We are three minutes out. Mary, you are sounding fucking great. You might even be better drunk. Have you ever noticed that? More confident. Well that yeah, no that works. PS3 game in Scotland, monthly live streams? Nah, buddy. That's if it was, I don't know, if it didn't involve video games, maybe. If it was just kind of like this sort of, like chatting away. However, uh, I say no monthly live streams, but then I looked it up. E3 is, is literally one month away. So, for this month and next month, there will be a monthly live stream, but after that, it might be a while. Hey Adam, just joined. Have you played Ori yet or planning to? Welcome to the end of the live stream. <laughs> uh, I haven't played Ori yet, but look forward to it at some point. Have not played any of the Mafia games. These streams have truly been a highlight for me. Much love, Adam. Thank you very much, John. Um, first live stream that I'm watching for you, Samuel. And might be, well, there'll be more in the future. Caught us on the very end of it. Little Nightmares 2 as a fun little pattern journey. I have considered it's on the list of potential episodes. Playing any Xbox games, Harry says. Yes. The one Xbox series that I'm interested in more than any other. Halo. But I don't want to do any of the online stuff. Gamer score journey. <laughs> Halo 1 is okay. Halo 2 is a bunch of multiplayer stuff that I'm interested in. But uh, I'm interested in playing Halo at some point. Okay, can we round it out, folks? We're going to round it out. Final bottoms up. Thank you all for joining me for the weekly, sort of weekly live streams on Twitch. Dealing with the many technical difficulties, including this evening. Um, yeah, it's been a good ride. I'm, I've no regrets. I've no regrets from trying the weekly live streams. Adam's Bar is not closing for good. It's just closing for now. So, wherever you are in the world, take care of yourself. All the best. Safe trip home. PJ, make sure everyone gets their coats. Don't be swilling the coats and the coats in the corner of the road, okay? I, da, I know your cousin Bobby. All right, you're spending too much time with him. He's a grifter. You're better than that, PJ. Look at you. You look great. Come on. All right, folks. Mary, the girls, thank you very much. You've been absolute stars. Um, you're always welcome in the bar. Always welcome. The boys down the uh, PJ. You gotta check on the boys down the back. I haven't heard a pee from them in two hours. Were you giving them whiskey? How much? The that's a lot of whiskey, PJ. Make sure they're still alive. Okay. Anyway, folks, everyone else, <laughs> thank you for joining me. Bottoms up. Absolute pleasure. To one, to all, a good night.